chosen the crystal unicorn tarot and the cards that popped up were the knight of swords knight of cups and the full reverse you guys may start to feel more organized and disciplined when it comes to bringing your dreams into fruition you are a strong intelligent and capable person that can do anything they put their mind to just make sure you're acting mindfully and swiftly Think of the consequences certain actions and choice, choices could lead. Uh, for example, is me doing this going to hurt others? It also looks like you're being guided towards a group of people or a person that will make you feel new and refreshed. They may also encourage you to partake in fun and positive new hobbies or habits. These people will make you feel more emotionally fulfilled. In the past, you probably felt like you were always fighting someone or something and you fought so hard and well, the day will come where you can finally let your guard down, be safe, vulnerable, and at peace. All that fighting must have left you exhausted, so make sure to rest and drink plenty of water as you maintain and rekindle your fun creative spirit. If you have a pet or a pet that passed away, they want to let you know that they love you and that they will always be by your side that whatever heavy feeling that's clouding your mind will soon go away you're a very beautiful human being with great emotional intelligence and because of this others may find you to be quite attractive and charming and you may also have an easier time working alongside others however you need to be careful others may try to take advantage of you so be wary of deals or situations that sound too good to be true um let's see also make sure you don't partake in risky practices or behaviors and plan more responsibly for the future ahead save up money for rainy days make wise financial decisions in the future or this may be happening now you may find yourself falling in love with someone or it could be a place a job or interest so make sure to follow your heart when it comes to creating your happiness it's okay to let loose a little and peek out of your shell just don't be scared to share your creativity with others that could be through social media or with a group of friends uh, the universe has your back. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to listen. And I really do hope that the reading resonated. And if it didn't, I'm so, so sorry. Um, you can maybe try picking another pile, but you don't have to. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. And I hope you have a lovely day or night. Please take care of yourself. Bye. Hello, pile two. The cards that popped up. Um, for you were the Eight of Swords, Five of Swords, and the High Priestess. And it looks like you may unlock your inner strength in the future. Um, some people may see you as someone cute and approachable, but if they, um, <laughs> they mess with you, they're gonna be confronted by your true anger. Like, they don't know who they're messing with. <laughs> um, if you if you're thinking of pursuing like higher education um for example like going back to college or university getting a degree that you've always wanted or just um expanding your knowledge like in spirituality or or something that like from the occult like something that really piques your interest something you want to learn more about um this is a sign for you to go for it and they it's, it's just really like pushing you forward to it like yes 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 do it do it <laughs> so yeah if you are looking for a sign this is your sign to do it and you might be scared that things may never improve like maybe you might be going through a tough 
a rough time right now. Um, if you're getting bullied, please, um, seek help. Um, tell someone you trust, like, someone you feel that can help you. Or, if you don't really wanna, or if you feel like you're alone, like, I just wanna tell you you're not alone. Um, just go really seek out help. Um, or maybe you might have gotten... Yeah, I mean, I'm really sorry, but maybe you got bullied in the past and maybe you still have some healing to do. And I encourage you to seek help. Um, and you're not alone. We've all, I feel like a majority of people have been bullied or have gone through that or something horrible. Um, yeah, but please seek help. I'm sending you lots of hugs, okay? Because being bullied isn't great. <laughs> and I'm really sorry. I just want to send you a bunch of love out there, okay? Take care of yourself, okay? And seek help. You're not alone. Um. Or you also might be highly sensitive. Or people might try to make you feel bad for being sensitive. Which is, there's nothing wrong with it. I feel like that's something. I feel like that's a beautiful part of being a human being. You know? Being able to feel. Yeah, you might be highly sensitive to negative words or the negative things happening in our current state, in our current reality. And you might feel like the world is against you. Or maybe you feel like you're being held back by conservative views. Or you might identify with a minority group it could be a person of color black, indigenous, LGBTQ or being a woman yeah, maybe some of these issues are really weighing really, really heavy in your heart and you might be feeling a little pessimistic about how a lot of things are going but I just want to assure you that as long as there's a community out there fighting for our rights and people fighting for our rights and people are willing to use their anger to fight for love and justice like things will improve for the better and don't give up okay everything everything and it's really heavy because it's hard but I promise you, there's people out there fighting. And even people you may not think that actually care about these issues, they actually do care. Maybe working alongside your community or forming a community will make you feel better. Joining someone who has the same views as you. I promise you that a majority of people want the best for this world and for the future there's good people out there and sadly the few people that actually have power um, they, they will do everything to hold back people from living a happy fulfilling abundant life because I believe all human beings deserve that. I promise you, as long as there's a community fighting out there, um, I feel like we're gonna be okay. Don't give up. Do not lose hope. Because the moment we all lose hope, that's how they'll win. Maybe trying, maybe, maybe also I'm taking a break from social media because sometimes they throw out information at us at like 
a really rapid speed like for example tiktok one second you're watching a funny video and then the next second you scroll into a video that's speaking of horrible things going around in another country and your heart is so sad and you're crying and you feel so hopeless because you're like what the fuck can i do and then and then you find out that there's no way to help them and then you scroll to the next video and it's another funny video again but you're still left with the feeling of just like sadness and hopelessness maybe taking a break to clear your heart and mind because actually seeing all of that information all at once can actually be it can take a lot um especially if it's it's your own community in trouble um it, it's hard so taking a break and giving your mind a break um collecting yourself to figure out um, <clears throat> the next steps of action maybe maybe trying to express your emotions in a healthy manner um, like journaling or you can take up reading at night like to decompress your body meditate or maybe you can go stargazing and get in touch with nature find a reason to love life again because this life is worth fighting for there's people out there worth fighting for and you're probably the reason someone's fighting and even if you feel like no no one's fighting for me nobody cares about me you don't know if there's some you're you're somebody's future friend and they're probably thinking about you to keep going they're probably thinking one day i'm gonna meet this amazing friend and i can't wait for the day that happens so i'm gonna keep trying my best you don't know that or like you can be someone's future significant other and maybe you can be the reason why they go to work every morning and you don't know that i promise there's beauty in this world and you shouldn't give up so quickly on it even though it's hard i know it's hard they don't let the hopelessness win and when maybe like once you um take a break um, it'll be easier to find an answer an answer that you are probably looking for like and once like i don't know there might be something that you might be confused about maybe you need guidance and maybe once you take time of to calm yourself calm your mind quiet your mind you'll find the answer and it will be easier to determine the next steps you need to take to build the life you want and to become the person you want yeah also someone may be trying to antagonize you like provoke you to become hostile maybe they're trying to push your buttons a bit and this person may see you as somebody selfish they're probably keeping a secret from you i don't know like gossiping or something rumors but like sometimes you just gotta be the bigger person like don't partake in in pit, petty drama you know sometimes some fights aren't worth fighting sometimes yeah sometimes it's just best to walk away <laughs> I promise this isn't going to be here forever and just trust your heart and move forward no matter how scary things may seem or how scary some people can be don't be passive you have amazing potential in becoming a great healer and 
you're very thoughtful, perceptive, and amazing listener. Just keep going, okay? Keep living. You got this. And you're gonna be okay. Thank you so much for listening. And I'm sending you so much love and so, so many hugs. Hello, Pile 3. Um, the cards that popped up were the Nine of Swords, Seven of Pentacles reversed, um, the Emperor, and the uh, Two of Pentacles. And you probably... Um, this is going to be a bit of a heavy um, subject, um, but probably in the past um, you partook in activities that were dangerous um, in order to hurt yourself, and you probably did... Um, self-harm, um, self-sabotage, or even thinking negative thoughts towards yourself. Like, just, you probably hated yourself a lot. Um, because you probably thought that you were a bad person, but you're not a bad person, like, not at all. Um, and I feel like you should give yourself a break since nobody is perfect like no one is perfect so just give yourself a break because you're the only person you have you you've got yourself and and that's it and sometimes that's kind of hard to deal with but we're all we got and we have this body for a temporary amount of time and, and we're kind of like just borrowing it so I feel like you shouldn't be so harsh on yourself because I promise you that a lot of people don't hate you like that you are worthy of love success and anything good that your heart desires and that you may be struggling to see your worth or you might have struggled to see your worth but i promise you everything you've worked hard for all your hard work is going to pay off and someone it may come in your life or they may be in the present moment probably like a father figure um, may also help you um, achieve your goals and reach success and they will help, also help you reach balance stability and maybe someday wealth someday you may no longer struggle because this father figure may help you out a lot Just try your best to budget yourself, um, organize your money, um, wise money choices, financial decisions, um, organize your, and time management. I feel like that's something that will probably help you out a lot. And you have to re remind yourself that even if it feels pretty small, small steps towards bettering yourself go a long way, like baby steps. Even if you feel like you're not going far, you're still going, you're still moving. Plus, you have to keep in mind that years are going to pass regardless. Like, if you're just stagnant all the time, three years are gonna pass but if you're trying your best to work on something like improve on yourself those three years they're still gonna pass but you're gonna get something out of it right um, but yeah those little habits are gonna help you a lot with achieving the future that you really really want 
And you also probably dealt with a lot of anxiety, maybe insomnia, um, along with nightmares. Um, and because of that, you may have struggled a lot in school. You might, to the point where you probably might have been kicked out. Or maybe you struggled with your grades. But I promise you that you can get through it. You have the strength to get through it. And someone is going to help you or someone wants to help you. You just have to keep pushing, okay? Don't give up. Just keep, keep going. And I'm really, really sorry. And I know life is hard. And I wish I could just give you so much love and care and send it your way. Because you're not alone. You're not alone at all. <laughs> so yeah. Um, don't give up keep pushing your life of abundance is going to come okay uh, thank you so much for taking the time to listen and giving me the chance to give you this message and just listening and i really hope you the best in life in everything because you really do deserve it and you're not a bad person Bye.